I am back. Hey, what's up, you guys? In today's video, I'm going to focus on how to get a higher KD. Yes, I'm going to give you tips and tricks on how to improve your KD, how to make your KD higher. Now, I know there's going to be people out there that's going to hate this video. They're going to hate the fact that I'm showing you tips and tricks that's going to improve your KD. Now, if you watch my channel and you've been around, in general, the, the capping techniques, the positions, the the corners, everything that I show you would actually help you raise your KD in general. But this specifically is going to be how to improve your KD. Now, if you notice, I'm playing uplink. Now, I don't know if you guys remember in Advanced Warfare, I used to say, I only play uplink for kills. I'm not going to be carrying that ball. I'm just going to sit back and lay people down. Well, the same thing happens in Black Ops 3. Now, let me tell you, this is the first tip and trick. Get into a game mode like uplink. There's two reasons you want to do this. One, everybody's going to be focused on the objective. It might be more than two, maybe three reasons. So since everybody's going to be playing objective, you're going to sit back and you're going to be a UAV assassin. You're going to pick people off. Now, I know this sounds funny, but you're actually playing a game. You're going to be the defender. You're going to sit back and you're going to defend the goal because this is where action is going to come to every now and then. Now, you have to be patient. Now, the second reason to play this, you always get these turds. They want to win. You get these uplink turds, I call them. These guys are going to score all the points. But they're going to be like 2 and 24 with like 6 scores. And so you're going to get a lot of those guys. So those are the guys you're counting on. The guy that's going to be constantly trying to get the ball and run to the flag. And since you're playing uplink, you can see where the ball is at. See how it has a really big and bright and red? So you know which direction they're coming from. So the whole idea is to be back, be defensive, control the UAVs, the counter UAVs, and go ahead and drop score streaks on them. Now if you notice, this is a great spot. The spot that I'm actually camping on for this uplink works in team deathmatch it works in kill confirmed it works in domination so this is actually a great way to camp this map combine in general now in order to improve your kd you also got to have little things correct like make sure you're using the right setup if you notice i'm using a brm setup and the reason i'm using this brm setup is because it gives me a nice distance a nice range i got four grip i got i got um, a quick draw on this gun and that's what it's all about now i didn't have my killer bees unlocked when i was making this video so I'm going with combat focus, which I, I'm really not a big fan of combat focus. And domination, it works great, but I got it on, so it is what it is. And I'm using that black cell so I can drop people down. Now, a lot of you guys are having problems like with your aim and whatnot. You got to definitely play around with the sensitivity. And look at this. I am missing this guy. Did he throw it? He threw it. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, look at that. Look at that boost jump. Look, he didn't even see me. He tried to get away and get laid down. This lightning strike probably isn't the most effective, but I don't have everything unlocked. Now, the one thing I'm noticing, if you really want to improve your KD, you got to know the right gun to use. Now, once you get the right gun, you got to be on the right sensitivity. A lot of people always ask me, what sensitivity do you play on? A higher sensitivity does not mean better. Let me be clear on that. A lot of you guys that want to run on insane, you know, sensitivities, 10, 11, 12, 20, or whatever, however high it goes, it's not necessary. Honestly, you're going to find that your aim improves the lower the sensitivity is. If you're on like a 2 or 3, the only thing is you can't turn on people really fast. But once again, we're not out here rushing trying to turn on people at the speed of light. We just need to be able to aim and have our aim steady. I usually play on a default setting if it's a 3 or a 4. And very rarely do I raise it up higher. Now, I, I got to admit, when I was playing Ghost, towards the end I had to get up to like a 7 or 8. Only because I was running around with that scuff. And when you're rushing, sometimes that benefits you. But the only thing is, when you're sitting there trying to lay people down, you want accuracy over necessarily speed. Okay, you can't turn on them as fast as you would like, especially when you're aiming down sight. But, like I said, it keeps the gun steady. So when you're shooting at them, you can lay them down. Now, I know a lot of people will have problems with this. You know, some people get so mad that people are actually out here playing for KD. You know, you get these people or these YouTubers who look, they ain't even playing the game. They just playing for KD. Well, you know, here's the reality. Some people care more about KD than the wins. I mean, let's be real. Some of us care more about our individual accolades, our individual score. Look at this. See, this is low sensitivity laying people down. And there's many people who like to get into the game and just, you know, get as many kills as possible. I mean, it's just part of the game. Look at this guy. He's trying to come at me. You can't lay down, son. And so right now I'm laying these people down. But here's the thing. It's nothing wrong with it. If you want to be the guy that wins every game, congratulations. I can tell you how to win this game. Get the ball and keep running to the hoop. Just, I mean, honestly, you'll win. If you don't care about your KD and you just want to rush, put on, um, what's that, overcharge or overdrive, the one that makes you run really fast. And wait till you get that perk, get the ball, and just run past everybody because they're really hard to shoot. Now, I'm going to hold on to this talent to the second half. 
and then I'm gonna lay these guys down. Like this combine map is really easy to control. Look at this. Me being defensive, we're up two to one. Now I'm not taking all the credit, but look, see that was the guy with the ball. I just laid him down. I'm just going left and right on this map. I'm trying to kind of throw these guys off and not necessarily be in the exact same spot every single time. And you see they tried to kill me a couple of times, but they were not successful. So I'm finding maps like Uplink are definitely easy to build your KD. Look at that first half. I went 10 and 0. Now, don't get me wrong. Right now, that's a 10 KD. So imagine you trying to get off to a good start. You're trying to get your KD, something decent. Try this game mode. Play for a day. Now, there are things you got to watch out for. There are certain teams, they're not going to go after the ball. I've been in this, and there's a whole team, and all they do is they push up into your spawn. The one thing about this, the spawn doesn't flip as easily. So they'll push up into your spawn and just hold you into one spot. You definitely got to watch out for that. And so they'll start spawn trapping. So this is one of those game modes a good team can spawn trap you. So definitely keep that in mind. So if you get into a game like that, I mean, it's an easy solution. You hit the um, back out button and go bye-bye. <laughs> but other than that, look at that. See, all I'm going to be doing is taking out score streaks. No score streaks for you guys. No UAVs, no counter UAVs. And I'm going to sit here and control the flow. Now, here's a great camping spot from the back. I usually perch right up there on that little rock right there. I'm kind of sitting back trying to see where these guys are going to come from. And look at this, I'm already into my score streak again. Let me see if I can get some people with this lightning strike. You know, for me, it's just a matter of protecting your KD. And while I'm done, ooh, was that a four-piece? Ugh. See, that was nasty. Look, see, it came in handy. That's to make up for the first one. And now I'm in my Talon, which is also a great, great way to get your score, I mean, your KD up. This Talon goes ham. Now, I don't know if it's me. But they've been nerfing so many things in the game. I feel like the talent was nerfed. Maybe I'm wrong. I feel like I'm shooting people, and they're just not dying as quick. I don't know. Maybe it's my connection. I don't know. I don't necessarily want to blame it on that. But it feels like it takes a lot more hits. I feel like I was laying people down with this thing a lot faster in the beginning. And now I'm hitting people, and they're able to run through my bullets. They're running away, and it's taking more time. So I'm actually getting less kills with this. Now, I can't say for sure if they nerfed this, but I honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. The way this game has been going, they're going to nerf this game out of funness. They're going to nerf the fun out. If you notice, everything. Oh, look at these guys. They spawn. Ooh, night, night. Get laid down, son. And look at this. Your boy is still flawless. I'm going in on these guys, just shooting these guys, terrorizing them in their spawn now. And that's the beauty of a game mode like this. Like I said, the spawn doesn't flip as easy, so you know where the spawn's going to be every single time. So right now, I'm just sitting back. I'm being defensive. By me dropping these score streaks on them, I'm making the game a little more chaotic. And that's what I'm trying to do. Look at this guy. Where is he at? Look, I've seen a second guy come. The reason I stopped shooting the guy with the ball is because he doesn't have a gun. So I was actually more worried about the guy without the ball. And that's what I was trying to follow back on him. When I saw that guy behind him, I just dropped back and went after that guy. Like, there's a couple minutes left in this game. And look, I'm already back in my talent. Have you noticed the um that perk? Uh, I don't even know what it's called. The one where you could... Ah, whatever. The, the um, specials I have on. I haven't even used it. That thing is... Great for like modes like domination. Speaking of that too, okay. So I know this is a little rant. I know it's supposed to be how to improve your KD. So me and Jimmy Dean we're playing yesterday and we're both using the Nomad with Hives. I have on a perk Overcharge that's supposed to allow you to get your specialist faster. Why me and him? We he didn't have the perk on. We got the Hives the same amount of time. I don't know what they've done, but they not only did they nerf the Hive, that perk was worthless. I almost thought about doing a video on that. I couldn't believe that we were getting at the same time. So for me that was a waste of a perk slot. And so I'm in the game, and I'm thinking, okay, I used to get the highest maybe four or five times a game using the over overcharged over yeah overcharged perk. Got it two times in a domination game, just twice. I mean, these guys are really doing everything they can to mess this game up. They're nerfing things that don't need to nerf. In my honest opinion, what they need to do is buff the connections. I mean, honestly, that affects your KD. If you see my last video, they keep dropping me in games where I'm in the middle of the game. That messes up your KD. They drop me in games where we're down 133. That shouldn't even... You should have a setting where you say, I never want to get put into the middle of a game. I only want to start at the beginning of the game. I'd rather wait than click game and all of a sudden they drop me in. And you can't back out. A lot of times they'll drop you in and you got to wait till you get in the game to back out, which is stupid because it now gives you a loss. Now, if you complete the game, it won't go on your record as far as loss, but the KD will go on your record. Now, if it says no KD, no loss, I probably would stick around, but the fact that you can drop your KD because you can jump in the game and go 0 and 5. You know, that's just look at this guy. I'm trying to get him. I'm trying to get him. Oh, that was some bad shooting. I was talking too much to you guys. I was a bad defender. And look at this guy. He's running away. Look, they're going back to the ball. See, that's what I love about Uplink. Now, if they had a feature like that, when you jump in the game, it doesn't affect your KD or your win loss, I probably would stick around. 
But what good is it to get into a game and you're going to die five or six times just because they're dropping streaks and you'll be lucky to get into a kill in a pattern? And that's another thing. If you want to affect your KD, get out those games. Don't even bother wasting them. Go ahead and take that L and just, you know, go live another day. And look at this. Once again, see, I'm a UAB. I'm a counter UAV assassin. I'm sitting back. There's only 27 seconds left. If you notice these little simple techniques on this, I'm staying flawless with the game. And I am helping my team. I'm being a defensive player. I'm sitting back in the spawn. And I'm chilling. I'm just watching left and right which way they're going to go. Now, here's the beauty of uplink. You can see the ball. Look at my guy. He has the ball, so I'm not too worried. These guys in this game, they're going to be going after the ball. So even when your teammates have it, you don't have to worry about them sneaking back here to you or anything. If you notice... I wasn't in danger at all, Harley, during this game. Look, they teamed and tapped out. Most of the people didn't quit out. You guys, look at that. This is how you improve your KD. I went flawless this game. This definitely helped my KD out. Look at that lag. I'm 24 and 0, so that was a 24 KD. All right, I am out. Check this out. If it works for you, let me know. I am out. Let's go.